Nebraska's off sides unless they were drawn off. Here's the pitch. Oliver wants to throw. He's got Lance Powell open. Up. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. It's back. For the first time in eight years, this is officially Nebraska week. Do you have any red in your wardrobe? Absolutely not. Absolutely not even, not a pair of socks or boxers or anything? No, I don't wear red. Don't like red. Won't ever drive a red car. I'm 48 years old, and I literally think about whether I want to put on red. I, I, I do. Isn't that disgusting? Old habits apparently die hard. And that's because for the better part of 20 years, this one-sided rivalry provided the buffs with the highest of highs. Brown pushes a man, five, he's in, touchdown number six. Nobody in the country gave us a chance to do what we did this weekend. So, you know, we shocked the world. And the lowest of lows. It is no good. I thought we were going to win. The rivalry began to gain traction in 1986. It was Bill McCartney's fifth year in Boulder. And after losing his first four games to the Huskers, Colorado felt things were about to change. Second down and 13, Hatcher pitching on the reverse. Here's Campbell, he's got running room. Jeff Campbell was a walk-on receiver in 86, and the kid from Vail, Colorado, made the first of his many big plays versus the Big Red. He helped CU get its first win over Nebraska since 1967. Nebraska was the one that we had in red on our calendar every year. It was the only team that we had in red in our calendar every year, so that was the game that we had kind of picked as our our number one uh, rivalry. But one win doesn't make a rivalry, and that was one of the reasons why 1989 was so important. We were so confident in 89. I mean, there was nothing that was going to stop that team. The man they called Soupy did it again. The little Husker killer had two big punt returns, which led to touchdowns while Darian Hagan and J.J. Flanagan worked their magic as the Bucks finally got Nebraska's full attention with their second win in four years. By winning in 1989, what the Buffs proved was that winning in 1986 wasn't a fluke. But winning at Folsom Field, that's one thing. Winning in Lincoln, Nebraska, well, that's another. In 1990, the Buffs were trying to stop a 10-game skid in enemy territory. Go Big Red! Go Big Red! Heading into the fourth quarter, it appeared the losing streak would reach 11. Colorado trailed 12-0, but two incredible catches by Mike Pritchard helped set up four fourth quarter touchdowns as the Bucks picked up their second straight win over Nebraska and also their second straight Big 8 title. Hey Colorado! I see you run back to the beach and we send them back to the desert. Back to back years when we beat them in 89 and then beat them, uh, come back and, and beat them the way that we did at home, uh, that did some damage. <laughs> that, that woke them up a little bit. Over the next 10 years, Nebraska went 9-0-1 versus Colorado, and it looked like the Big Red restored order in the rivalry. But almost any Buff fan will tell you they wouldn't trade those nine losses for that one win in 2001. Crouch, still with the football, looking long over the middle, intercepted. What the Buffs did on November 23rd, 2001 will never be forgotten. They embarrassed their biggest rival, who at the time was the number one team in the country. Breaks a tackle, touchdown! Our senior class wanted to be that group that, that won the game, you know, after however long it was, eight, ten years of, of losing um, to those guys. Hands down, you know, the coolest football moment of my life. Since 2001, Nebraska has never been the same. Of their 46 conference championships, none have come since that November night. Some buffs believe the Huskers have never fully recovered. Sure, it would be great if we were the ones that just sent Nebraska down and never recovered yet, but I think there's a lot more that goes into it than right. that. But if that was the catalyst of it, then uh, I'll take it. So now the two teams will finally meet again, this time under friendlier circumstances. Sure, there are some familiar faces from the rivalries of old, but they'll be hard pressed to recapture the passion, excitement, heartbreak, and emotion of what once was. It's going to be pretty tough to beat what it once, what it used to be. I'm glad it's back. I don't know how much the kids at either school right now really understand what it once was. I'm excited for them. I, I hope they turn it into an intense matchup, and they understand. They understand the roots. I'm 48 years old to this day, I don't wear red, and, and I hate Nebraska. <laughs> Thanks, Coach Mack.